Hello everyone and welcome! I'm Kiv, your favorite degenerate, and today I want to talk to you all about why so many people who are Halo YouTubers and streamers have almost jumped ship at the drop of a dime to check out a game called Splitgate. So today I want to talk about what this game is, for those of you who may not have heard of it, and also why so many people from the Halo community have now gone across to check this game out, because it is a quote-unquote Halo killer. So let's dive right into it. What actually is Splitgate? Well, the game itself is actually, it's a free-to-play game, and you can get it on any console. PC, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you play on, you can get it. It released actually back in 2019, uh, and it, it actually did make some waves, and it got a fair bit of attention, so the developers were able to get a lot of people investing in the game, I guess, and they were able to raise a lot more money to be able to do more stuff for the game, and that's exactly what they've done. They've just released Season 2, and oh boy, <laughs> these guys came out swinging. They have also sponsored a bunch of Halo YouTubers to make videos about the game because it covers a very similar style of game. Before anyone asks, no, the game itself has not sponsored me to make this video. Uh, this is all something that I have done on my own. So the actual gameplay for Splitgate is pretty cool because it's a buffet of so many different iconic games and it takes a lot of ideas from different things and it tries to kind of mesh it all together. And it does a pretty good job at it, to be honest. The maps and gameplay really echo that tight Halo-esque arena shooter, and the movement system itself is pretty unique because it doesn't have wall running, but it does have this jetpack thruster pack where you can kind of move yourself in the middle of the air a little bit, kind of like Black Ops 3, but you don't see players ping-ponging off of walls like how you do in Titanfall. This one feels as if it has a bit more flow and balance to it, so the movement itself doesn't feel overwhelmingly fast. However, it does have the portals from the actual Portal series, and wow, these things are pretty amazing to have in a first-person shooter, because you can just unlock so many different ways to play the game, so there is a lot of possibilities, and at the same time, it really helps to create a skill curve for the good players who master these certain tools. So the game itself, it takes a lot of good things from a lot of different games and puts it all together. Now, some of you may be wondering, <laughs> why is it that Halo YouTubers are suddenly dropping Halo Infinite? Well, it's not a sudden drop. This has been something that's been a long time coming because of multiple reasons. And one of them is that Halo Infinite doesn't really have any content or features keeping people playing the game. But it's not as if we all hate the game. Halo Infinite, the gameplay itself is really good. There's just so many small issues that coalesce into this big problem and that's what's really weighing Halo Infinite down, this big issues list that they need to sort out. So of course, everyone in the Halo community is sitting there waiting for the full release of the game, because it's kind of a meme, but it's so sad that it's true that we will finally get the full release of Halo Infinite one year after it actually came out. Because, yeah, it just still feels like a beta. Um, so I guess at the end of the day, the number one reason why people are leaving is because it lacks content, features, and all of the things that we have been giving constant feedback about since day one. The second reason is because Splitgate does a lot of things right while being, at the same time, really similar to Halo. Because 
it has that same arena style shooter. The weapons are basically copy paste. But the big difference, I feel, is that there's no list of small issues that rack up into a big problem. The game itself has a good UI. It has a progression system. I feel as if I'm being rewarded for playing the game without having to constantly chase challenges. The challenges in Splitgate themselves are way better. You have daily, weekly, and seasonal challenges. The weapons will give you special skins the more that you use them. So you are rewarded for not only playing the game, but how you play it. And I feel as if the game itself feels so much less focused on the money because that is one part of it as a free-to-play game with a battle pass but it just doesn't feel as if the shop is being pushed in my face every single time as a way to enjoy and see progression because that's how it feels playing Halo Infinite. Any anything decent that you see is either a crap ton of money or it's something that you have to spend ages grinding for in Infinite, only for every Tom, Dick and Harry to have the same thing. So it just doesn't make you feel unique at all. And I guess a lot of people have said in the past that Splitgate is a bit of a Halo killer, and I honestly disagree. I feel as if Splitgate is a really good alternative to Halo, but the biggest Halo killer is Halo Infinite itself. The game is really hurting itself in its confusion, just like a Pokemon does when it's confused. So let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments section down below, and I'd be really interested to hear all of your thoughts. If you haven't already and you do want to see more content, make sure you subscribe. It's all part of the great journey. So join me. I've been Kiv, and I'll see you all on the next one.